So we'll see some more example in this uh, CNF conversion, converting any grammar to Chomsky normal form format. Uh, so this is another example. So first step is to find all useless symbol. Useless symbols are of two type, non-generating and not reachable. So non-generating is one which does not generate to any set of terminal symbol. Okay, so list all the variables E, T and F. For F, you have a direct production as A. So when you are deriving a parse tree, when you have an F as a variable, when you make a substitution as A, it stops. The parse tree actually stops. And for T, you can substitute T as F and F tends to A. It also stops. And for E, E tends to T, T tends to F and F tends to A. So there are a possibility of making some uh, substitution for the variable, it finally derives to a single terminal symbol or a set of terminal symbol, then we call that as a generating symbol. Okay, so all the variables here are generating. The next step is to find all not reachable symbols. So not reachable symbol is the symbol that is not called from the starting symbol. So here E is the starting symbol and E calls E and T. Okay, so T is reachable and T calls T and F. So F is also reachable. So all these variables are called from the starting symbol. So there is no not reachable symbol too. So all those symbols, all those variables that are used in the grammar are needed. Okay, there, there is no useless symbol in the given grammar. Our next step is to find all those epsilon production. So when you're finding epsilon production, no, there is no epsilon production in the given grammar. So epsilon production is also not there. And what is the last one to find all unit production? Unit production are of, are of the form a variable tends to variable. Okay, E is a variable and T is a single variable. And T is a variable, F is a single variable. Okay, so these two are the unit production. So first we'll write the production for F, F tends to E and A. So here there is no unit production and write the production for T, you have T tends to T star F and F. So here F is a unit production, right? So instead of F, we can replace it with F's production that is E or A. And finally, E's production, you have E tends to E plus T and slash T. So T is a unit production. So instead of T, write the production for T, you'll get it as T tends to E plus T slash, this is a T's production, T star F, E and A. Okay, so these things are your final production that you want to consider. This is your F's production, this is your T's production, and this is your E's production. After eliminating unit, uh, unit symbol, you'll, unit production, you'll get the resultant thing as this. Okay, the last step is to find all or uh, to convert the given grammar into CNF structure, uh, Chomsky normal form structure. CNF structure is something like when you have a variable tends to two variable or a variable tends to single uh, terminal symbol, the input is accepted. Okay, so here you have T star F open bracket E close bracket. So you'll have the combination of variable and terminal, which is usually not allowed. So one step we can do it is list out all your um, terminal symbol, like open bracket, close bracket, wherever you have the combination, you have open bracket, close bracket, star and place. So those things are included as a combination of variable and terminal and I'll give a new name for it. I'll have it as X1, X2, X3, and X4. Okay, so first we'll start from F production. F production can be written as open bracket is given the name as X1, E, close bracket as X2, and this is in a format, a single terminal symbol is allowed. Now three variable is not allowed. So what we can do, we can create a new name for it. X5 tends to X1E. Okay, you can rewrite F production as F tends to X5, X2 slash A. Now this is in the general format. Similarly, you have to do for all the production. Now take T's production, T tends to T star F and open bracket open bracket E, A. So this open bracket E, A is replaced as X by X2 and A. And uh, you can directly call this in this place. And T star F can be written as T instead of star, you substitute the variable as X3 F. And this can be written as X by X2 slash A. 
Okay, here you have three variables which is not allowed. Create a new variable x state uh, x6 tends to t x3 and rewrite t's production as x6 f and x5 x2 slash a. Okay, so this is the production for f and this is the production for t and go ahead with the production for e. E's production can be written as e plus t t star f e and a. So t star f e and a is replaced as x6 f x5 x2 x5 x2 and a. Okay, you can re replace it. Already if you have a grammar, you can replace it. Okay, now e plus t can be written as e. Instead of plus, you have to substitute the variable as x4 t. You have three variables in the combination. So when you have three variables, you have to replace it as x6 or like till x6 we have it, right? You can replace it as x7. x7 tends to e x4 and here you can write it as e tends to x7 t x6 f x5 x2 and a so this is the final uh, production in your chomsky normal form format okay so whenever it is needed when there is a combination exists it is better to uh, give a new name for the variables uh, give a new name for the terminal symbol. When there is a combination of terminal symbols and variables, it is better to give it like this. So here you have all variables and tends to single terminal symbol, which is allowed, or two variable, which is also allowed. And we have rephrased it. So rephrasing is very easy, but elimination of the uh, preliminary step is very important. Okay, so we'll take one more example and I'll show you how it is actually working for another examples. Okay. So here I have taken another example where it shows all possible criteria. We'll go step by step. First step is the simplification process. Uh, we have to eliminate all useless symbol, epsilon production, unit production. So first is non-generating symbol. So starting from all the variables, like you list out all the variables as A, B, C, and D, you're going to verify whether uh, on possible some, some possible substitution, your pass three stops. When you substitute D tends to epsilon, this pass tree actually stops. And for B, you have B tends to B production, this also stops. And for A, you have A tends to B and B tends to small b. So this pass tree also has a possibility of generating to a terminal symbol. Now you have C. For C, you have the production as CAC. And this calls itself CAC, CAC again and again. So there is no substitution, there is no way the pass tree will stop and generate to some set of terminal symbol. This is not allowed. Okay. So we can say that C is a non-generating symbol. Okay. And next one is not reachable. Those symbols that are not called from the starting symbol will be a non-generating symbol. Sorry, not reachable symbol. So from A, it calls either B or C. And for production for B, B calls itself and C calls itself. So this D is not called anywhere in the grammar. So we can declare D as a not reachable symbol. So we can eliminate all these productions of C and D. It is a useless symbol. You can directly just remove it from the grammar. So all the C's production will be removed like this. Okay, uh, I'll just write down the simplified grammar here. So after eliminating this useless symbol, your grammar will have the variable as just A and B alone. Write the production for A. A tends to A, A, B slash B and B tends to A, B slash B. Okay, so now this is a place where uh, all this useless symbols are taken out and you don't have any epsilon production here. And we have to verify for unit production. Unit production is a variable tends to a single variable. Here you have A tends to B. A tends to B is a unit production. So how can you replace this unit production here? You can have to write it as A tends to A, A, B slash instead of B, substitute A's, uh, B's production, you will have A, B slash B. And B's production will remain as it is A, B slash B. Okay, so this is your unit production elimination. 
Now, finally, the grammar is ready to be converted to your Chomsky normal form format. This is a general format for Chomsky normal form. A variable tends to two variable or a single terminal symbol. So here you have uh, A tends to B and B tends to B as in the general format. And you have the combination of A with other variables. So give a new name for this A terminal symbol and rewrite the grammar B as B tends to instead of A substitute it as X1. X1 B slash B, either two variables. The combination of variable and terminal is not allowed. Okay, when you substitute X1 instead of A, you'll have it as X1 B slash B. And A's production can be replaced as A instead of A, you have to substitute it as X1 B slash AB can be written as X1 B and slash B. Okay, three variable is also not allowed. Include a new variable as X2 tends to A X1 and rewrite this grammar as A tends to X2 B slash X1 B slash B. Two variable, two variable and a single terminal symbol. Okay, so this production is in general format and these two production is in general format. Okay, so while taking this grammar as an uh, input after eliminating all this process, this is the final grammar that we received in this Chomsky normal form format. Okay, thank you.